obviously. All right, let's talk Olympics. Uh, we've got all our team back. Welcome home, Team SA. Uh, a little later on, Barry Stando will be having a, a chat to him. And right now on the phone, Elia van Sale. Goedemiddag, meneer. Hello, I'm so glad to be back. <laughs> I'm sure you are glad to be back home. And nice to chat on radio again. I know we did uh, manage to catch up with you on Skype before the Olympic Games. Uh, how was the whole experience for you? Well, uh, if you look at my performance, it was a bit disappointing. Um, it was one of my worst athletics years ever. And I had a light knee injury, but I decided to go. Uh, the day before we left, um, my coach Annie told me that I must withdraw and I'm not ready, but uh, I said, no, I can't, I can't leave this experience. But the whole experience was nice. The opening, the whole, uh, to be part of this, uh, mm. the Olympics, my second Olympics, and it was actually very special to me. Yeah, absolutely. We'll talk about some of the uh, the stuff that you that you managed to get in in and around your event, but obviously all the focus still, despite the fact that uh, when wh- I mean, when did you sort of realize that you might not be a hundred percent? How soon before you guys left did you realize you might not be a hundred percent to uh, no, to compete? About a, about a week before we left, we did like a, a time trial session, yeah. and it, it didn't went good, and I did it the next day, and I failed again. And the day before we left, I said, okay, I'm, I'm in a little bit of uh, trouble. And they were like, I told my coach, you know, I can't say no now. Um, I can't uh, disappoint Saskok and, and all the expectations. And I, yeah. I said, oh, well, I'm going to take a chance and go. And uh, and there's, there was a lot of people that believed in me and I didn't want to drop anybody. Yeah. So I, I went and tried to make the best of it. It kind of it, that puts you in a bit of an awkward position, though, because obviously you you know you want to go, you do go. Lo- a lot of people don't know that you're carrying a carrying a bit of an injury, so you know, and particularly as uh, you know, you're one of the athletes who put a lot of hopes on you. So it puts you in an awkward position because you, as much as you want to please everyone, uh, you sort of got a, a hidden reason as to why you're going to struggle a little bit in in the games. Yeah, it's it's very awkward. Um, my my times last year. Uh, I was. Uh, if you look at my times last year, there's a lot of expectations for me. Last year I was mm. uh, the top four times was behind my name, and this year I couldn't even uh, break the 49 seconds. It's two seconds slower than my my best time. And uh, if you look at my 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 best time last year, I could have won. I could have won the silver. My my mm. fourth time would have won bronze, and it's yeah, it's, it's disappointing. But um, as I said, I didn't want to uh, disappoint anybody, and uh, there's a lot of. My teammates that believed in me, and then I also made a promise for Yvette, she went for the marathon, um, that we both gonna go for our dream and goal, and I didn't wanna wanna pull out. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, on the upside of it, at least now we know. Uh, because when you look at the, when you looked at your times, that's exactly as you pointed it out. You looked at it and go, there must be something wrong there, because that's just not you. You know, it's not like you had a, you know, a bad start or any part of your race. Uh, just, just, just went bad. Uh, so there had to be some other reason. So at least the positive side now, now we do know it's not just a massive loss of form. And I think all my 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 kidneys is is, is sore from all the from all the inflammatory tablets and all the painkillers. And I'm, I'm just relieved now that I don't have to drink all this cataflames and Voltar and all these injections and cortisone and all that. Now I can just relax and uh, you know and. But on the other side, um, I'm so glad for Cameron and the rowing guys, um, mm. for, for, for Semenya, she won the silver. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with them, very glad, and I wish it, I was one of them, but uh, there's, there's, there's still a chance. I've got uh, Rio left, Graham 31. Felix Sanchez won the Olympics now, he's 35. He ran, his, he, ran uh, he won the Athens Olympics eight years ago. Yeah, mm. that was that a was, big comeback, yeah, yeah. And after that, he haven't run a 47 cents the Athens Olympic final and then and Felix Sanchez never never won he never beat me in, in his life and uh, but this Olympics he was sharp and a lot of respect, respect for a guy like him he was he was nowhere nowhere for the last uh, couple of years and at the Olympics he made a, a big comeback yeah I mean you obviously watched the race and you must have uh, had your own thoughts and almost put yourself in the race at different times so yeah, I mean everyone was stunned when they saw Sanchez. Although he looked really, really good at the start, and uh, you, you kind of got the feeling that he was going to be there or thereabouts. But you know, when you when you saw the race, just uh, take us through your 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 mindset, and, and particularly you know, as you say, you've already put some of the times in perspective of what you've done, the winner, and the fact that he hasn't beaten you. Uh, did, did you go through that race putting yourself in there and thinking that uh, you had a 
uh, yeah. a fully fit LJ Fonsell would have um, maybe got gold, silver? How did you see it? Yeah, I, I was in a stadium that night. I went in to watch Felix Sanchez, but after the semi final, I tell Sanchez, um, I think he's, he's going to be the Olympic champion. He said, okay, he's got a good chance between him and Carlson. Yeah. And I went, I went to the warm up track and I saw him warm up. I didn't, I didn't uh, I spoke to him beforehand. And afterwards, I told him, Felix, you did very well. And he told me, Fonsell, I'm just glad you were not in the shape as you was last year at uh, the Korea World Champs and also in your SA season. And that's how I always, um, I always cried with him at, at the warm up track. And I, and when I watched his, his medal ceremony the next day, I, I really, I also, I also got tears in my eyes, just like him when he went um, onto the podium. Yeah. Simon? And LJ, the 4x400 uh, that you ran, you said it, it wasn't the result that you wanted. It was a tough one. I'm reading a quote here. Uh, it was a tough one for us and it was difficult to lift ourselves up after we were out of the final and won the appeal. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The story is um, I got actually kicked out of the team. And the other four that I ran, I went to the warm track with him. And they were offensive. The second that he, he went down. He got tripped, as he said. And I thought, okay, I phoned uh, South Korea listen here, my Olympic is over, uh, can I go back? They said, sure. My flight was that night at 7. And as I went to the airport, um, my bags were repacked. Uh, we won the appeal. And uh, we got back into the race, and I haven't trained about for, for a whole week after, my <clears throat> after, my, uh, after I got knocked out in the first round. And then everybody was like, oh, okay, now I have to, uh, now I have to run again. Quick, quick team meeting who's going to stay Fenzi was hurt and of course I have to run and, and if, if I sit now on that stage then we have to pull out again yeah. <laughs> so, okay inflammatory again painkillers again let's run well, otherwise I'll either pull out to put one of the marathon guys in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did it. Yeah. He was cool, but he was a cool boy. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, anyone, I'm a cock, but I'm saying that's how we were thin on yeah. the ground as far as uh, as far as backup athletes in any of the sprint events goes. So, yeah. I mean, uh, you, yeah, as you say, you would have had to uh, pull out. And obviously, they're well aware that you're also carrying this niggle as well. So, I mean, that just adds to the whole uh, mix up of the situation that, you know, one of the members of their side also is carrying a bit of an injury. So. Again, we 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 know we, we're not a hundred percent aware of all the things that go on uh, behind the scenes. You just see you guys line up on the start, and everyone's like, "Okay, go, come, guys!" If, uh, if we've got Oscar yeah. in good position, uh, we've got a good chance here. And uh, at least now we know, you know, what kind of went down beforehand. So very, mm-hmm. very disruptive for the four hundreds. Put that behind us. Uh, when do you think you're going to be back in competitive action again? I've I've got three hunting trips now. That's my that's my next uh, exciting thing in the next uh, few weeks. Yeah, what's a wind uh, pump that you can buy for today? What's a great wind? I went to buy a 243. 243. Yeah, I went to, to safari outdoor for a 243. What can you only find after or what? Yeah, just uh, just gonna keep it for. Uh, and I'm not gonna, I'm not I'm not a shooter guy, and I, I don't kill some some things. I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, next year it's the Moscow World Champs. Yeah. It's August again, and that's my next big thing. I'm on the bronze medalist and silver in the relay, so that's my next focus. It's, it's the next World Champs. Well, LJ, uh, listen, g- uh, get well soon. We look forward to seeing you back on the track, 100% fit again. And uh, made a little note of your name here, Rio 2016. LJ So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for chatting to us today. I mean, did you get a chance to enjoy the rest of uh, London, and did you guys get much chance to go out and explore and, and enjoy the festivities there? Yeah, I went after after I got knocked out. I went into the city with some friends, a few uh, also a few late nights, and yeah, we, I went everywhere. I went in, uh, up on the London Eye. I went to Madame Tussauds. I went uh, actually. I went to, to watch the marathon for a bit. I was actually a, a water boy okay. at the first <laughs> point. I was uh, I I was I was uh, I don't know, in uh, tennis. I was there, I was one of the water boys. That was also one of my highlights. All right, cool. That was nice, man. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, well, listen, we we really appreciate you taking time out. Enjoy your rest here in South Africa. Get well soon, LJ, and we'll be keeping close eye on your uh, on your progress and uh, back to the top of your game again when you are 100% fit. Thanks, Dara. All the best, bud. Cheers, man. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. LJ van Sale. There we go. Another story, if you uh, oh. weren't sure about what happened with uh, LJ van Sale. Carrying an injury at the Olympic Games, but uh, makes some uh, interesting points. Sanchez, he, he, hadn't, he said he hadn't beaten him. Mm-mm. At all, okay. ever. Uh, went on to win the 400. And, uh, yeah, so he says his best time would have 
silvered. Yeah. In that race, and, and his he's worst time, which is fourth, his fourth, this we would have his fourth worst time, yeah, his fourth best time yeah. would have got a bronze. bronze. Yeah. So, so it must be tough. Eh? He I left mean, medals back there, as we say. Yeah. I mean, you don't know how it's going to be in a race itself with the nerves and all the tension and stuff like that. I but honestly had no idea because, like I said, in my medal count, he was definitely a contender. Yeah. And if I had known this, I think if a lot of people would have known this. Things. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Can you imagine just going to the Olympics knowing that I'm going just? But in a way, it. it's it's cool that he didn't say anything about it because he wasn't trying to make excuses. He was still going to go there and give his best. And you found out afterwards, and it must be incredibly difficult, like, to pick yourself up again for the four by four hundred, especially when you think you're out yeah. of it. Get back on the meds and up your game for a race that you didn't even think you were going to take part in. Yeah. We the best on three. One, two, three. We, we the best. best. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za balls.co.za